what's up Nord47 here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we're going to be taking on Celtic Manor in the Course Challenge series. This course has been designed and recreated by my fellow Irishman Cahalas 1991. As per usual all the rules are going to apply for the different settings as well as the two new ways of doing it with the cameras and then having the shot feedback to be shown distance only. Uh, all course conditions are going to be left at default so fairways will be soft, greens are normal and green speed is fast, wind speed and direction both at default. We are going to be playing off the blue tees which are 7384 yards and we will keep it on pin set 1 so without wasting any more time let's head out onto the course. Okay so here we are down on the first hole at Celtic Manor and this will probably be the final course that I do keeping the wind speed at normal actually because just looking at it now and I was thinking it was probably going to happen is that the wind is fairly calm so I think for the next one we might do maybe the next one and the one after I might keep the or I might bump the wind speed up to be set as uh, medium and we'll just keep we'll keep the direction on normal but as I say we'll just mix them mix around the uh, the speeds here there on the courses um, I prob probably won't go into the very high winds but I might depending on the course go into the high winds um, I may even do a course where there's no wind <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how that goes anyway but we have been left with 150 to 160 yards in got 172 just behind us so I probably want to say maybe 155 so I'm gonna go with 9 iron Slight little bit of D-loft. Greens are normal, so they should hold up fairly well. Wind looks like it might be about mm, 4 or 5 mile per hour. Look to be a good swing. It's tracking around nicely, but that is actually coming up short. So I think we were... Ooh, the D-loft didn't actually really affect... I didn't look at the elevation. That's what I didn't do. I didn't count in uh, the elevation if it did show it. So we're a little bit short on that one. This looks like it will possibly be green line. Green speeds are 168. Ooh, very good. Very good first put of the round. Um, a little quick update as well regarding my headset. It's probably sick of, me hearing, sick of hearing me uh, talk about it now at this stage. I will apologise again if there is any audio issues. Um, now, if this is coming across, it's just me just readjusting it on my head at the moment. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm kind of now at the moment, I'm, I'm angling the, the head. I, I can never remember what it's called, but the, the bit that goes over the top of your head. I, mean, I have that angled more towards the back of my head to raise up the mic. Um, because obviously if I wear it normally it the mic is probably maybe about an inch away from your mouth so with this now it has it up more about eye level so hopefully that will cut out a little bit of it um, one of the most basic things that I never thought ooh, I don't actually just getting back to the getting back to the course now at the moment I don't know if I want to risk trying to get over that bunker there on the left or do I go on we will it's a par five so hopefully that was it's coming around left so I think it was a fast it's yeah it's okay um, but yeah one of the most basic things when trying to figure out what could be possibly causing a bit of feedback that I never thought to check was the input volume so I played around with it a couple of days ago I recorded a few dummy videos and listened back to them and I couldn't hear anything but I do apologize if it does still come back uh, throughout this video um, I have also turned off, we're not going to get there, R in 2, so we'll hit the 2 wood up. I have also turned off, the. I usually always have my phone right beside me, I have it right beside me now on charge. I've also turned off the Wi-Fi on that. Um, as some people have said that just obviously the signal from the likes of something using the Wi-Fi or something that could easily interfere with it. So I've turned that off. Um, what else have I done? I've checked. I've checked to see if there was any firmware updates. There's no firmware updates for this headset. But another thing that I did come across on forums was that apparently... Oh, sit there. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, comes back a little bit. Uh, apparently, Turtle Beach do actually, or are actually known for having this little problem, unfortunately, with... Uh, 
little audio crackles and stuff with the microphones. I thought I overhit that there for a second. So um, so again, unfortunately, I know I do now have the uh, the windscreen or foam socket over the mic. Um, but unfortunately, if it if it does end up turning out that it's just down to uh, the Turtle Beach microphone itself, there is unfortunately nothing I can do. But hopefully, it's minimal. Um, but apparently, th this crackle ca is caused by say just the break in my commentary there just all of a sudden commentary coming back in or noise it just causes a bit of a crackle or something like that so uh bit unfortunate really but again also unfortunate that uh i can't do anything about it so i will apologize for any potential future crackles but hopefully as i did mention there a second ago it is minimal but anyway enough of the bloody headset i've gone on, on enough about that over the last i think it's three videos now we have got anyway third hole part three we're on the green um 25 to 30 feet marker sitting at 27 so i'm gonna it looks to be in front of the hole i'm gonna say it's at the 30 um looks to be a bit of double break let's see if we can see the beads down the end there majority left to right I'll go about half to three quarters now. Uh, it's saying up four inches up there. Let me put it on the hole at the 30. At seven. So we'll say it's playing 37. Actually, no, I hold on. Can we see where the marker is? No. That does vanish there. It looks like it's at 30. So we'll say 37. This is probably going to go horribly wrong. We'll green line it now. That's a three count, well, three and a half count. Very good put, though. So, good job. I did just catch the uh, the elevation just before taking that put. But we will remain at one under through three for the moment. As we move on to the fourth, which is par four, 458 yards, playing 444 to the pin. And it's a stroke index of nine. Good reference points here with the two bunkers I can see in the distance, which is pretty much going to be the landing area. Just go for the perfect perfect, it looks good. And I'll speed that up actually, yeah, we're, we know we're safely in the fairway, so we'll speed that up. Um, leaving us with 150 to 160 in, up 6 feet. Um, oh, we are right in front of the 153 so i'm going to say it's 150 call it 152 a little bit of headwind i am torn now nine iron slightly de lofted or quite a bit of loft on an eight iron i think i'll go i think i'll go a bit of deep well we are on a bit of an upslope yeah we'll go with a little bit of de loft on the nine iron keep it relatively straight at the pin I uh, popped a little bit right off the club there. So the ball was a little bit more below my feet than I thought. And it needed quite a bit more deal off. The wind was a little bit stronger. Should have gone with the 8 iron. So just onto the fringe. I might be able to put from here actually. 9 to 10 yards. Um, well, we'll give the put a go. Marker's saying 27 feet again. So we'll call it... Let me see... It looks to be more 28 is where it's sitting right on the hole. So going to add 21 onto that. That's 49. Um, no, sorry. Where am I going? Am I doing that right? It's up 14. We'll say it's up a foot. Add 20. It's not 48. 46. We'll say 46, 47. And I think we'll go go green line again. Gave it a bit of a heavier swing and that is a beautiful pump. Just due to being on the green fringe and then that good upslope. But that was a great read there. Brings us a two under par. As we head on to the fifth par four stroke index of one. So I'm expecting par here. 464 yards. Playing 411 though. So... Hopefully we can get a, a nice short little approach in. Um, perfect, perfect is definitely order of the day. A sharp dog leg there. 
so I don't want to risk going too long and ended up in the rough pin is tucked right side it looks like we have a bunker in play but we have 150 to 160 in again um, now 158 there so I'm gonna say we are closer to the 150 so we'll go again with the 9 iron hopefully get it right this time uh, ball is a little bit below the feet so I'll just put it a little bit mm, actually no I think I'll keep it straight on if the ball is slightly below the feet it should go right a bit and then come back um, for saying 150 I won't touch the loft and it did go right off the club I might have pushed it a bit though but hopefully it holds the green and yeah that's a solid approach in there looks about 10 to 12 feet and that's indeed what it says up here 10 to 12 feet okay so that should be just by the looks of it outside the right edge just about a go oh no that's ooh, that turned a lot more aggressively than i thought it would i took that a little bit too quick should have taken a little bit more time in it but we do scramble the power anyway <coughs> excuse me So heading on to the 6th hole, par 4 again, 432 yards, playing 410, and it's stroke index of 3. And it looks like we're aiming pretty much at those bunkers that are right in front of us. Wind should take it around a little bit, and it is. So hopefully it doesn't carry too far and end up in the rough, or worst case scenario, the bunker, but now it's perfectly fine down the right, right center. Oh, and I see a little bit of patch of rough over there. Um right in the middle of the fairway and I'm pressing triangle to try and <laughs> try and zoom into the fairway but we have 130 to 140 yards in up three feet so have we got a marker we do not so we'll go in the middle and we'll call it 135 so we'll say that's going to be pitch and wedge um with that bit of wind wind looks like it might be about five six mile per hour excuse me um so we'll Ooh, how much left to up on this? Maybe to about the W. Expecting the wind to maybe carry it a little bit. That came right again. It's not gone too far though. If it can sit down, should sit fairly quick with the greens being normal and it does not too bad, about 13, 14 feet. 10 to 12, so a little bit better. Um, I think we'll take a little bit more time, same range, pretty similar putt actually. So I think we'll just just put it out about there. Oh, now it's not turning enough. Oh, I overhit that one that time. I was because I was consciously thinking there actually in my head that the green speeds are actually 168. So turn. There we go. We do manage to scramble the power again. So, but yeah, I was consciously consciously thinking in my head there. Green speeds 168. Um. Whereas I do majority of the time play uh, in the 170s, if not the 187s. But anyway, par 3, hole 7, stroke index of 13, 207 yards, play and playing two, 207 to the pin as well. I've got plenty of room to work with, 190 to the front. Um, so I think we will go 5 iron. looked good put it out a little bit too much i might have slightly pushed it again because i don't think i put it out that far but it is feeding around and it's ended up not too bad that looks in about the 10 to 12 foot range again 12 to 14 this time um and i think with what i've been doing recently we'll just go about half out that's tracking pretty well turned a little bit too much and I think it got online with the hole so I had a decent pace on it but again just turned that a little bit too much just getting a feel for the 168s now I haven't even warmed up the putter I just took a few swings on the driving range actually just before starting to record just until the auto shutdown on the headset started now can I see that left bunker I can 
just in front of that's 286 so that's the landing area roughly um, we'll aim aim pretty much just the left side of that right hand bunker and we'll go for a fast there it is coming back around to the left nicely hopefully not too far but no, that's nicely into the fairway so I'll we'll speed that one up <coughs> and that gives us 150 to one, or 140 to 150 should I say up 4 feet 160 just behind us so I think it's not too far behind I want to say 150 again we call it 151 so that again is going to be a 9 iron in um, I'm trying to look at the lie grid now. Uh, ball is a little bit below the feet, so I think I'm actually just going to aim a little bit left this time. Wind is fr was pretty calm. That uh, still came right off, so it was a decent little bit below the feet. And that was carried way long, so that was actually a lot shorter. I misjudged that one badly. So I have to try and scramble up and down again for the par. This is definitely going to be a chip shot. Oh, oh, I had good pace just, oh no, I had too much pace on it. This is now bogey territory. We have 18 to 20 feet, up one foot. Marker sitting on 19, so we'll say 39, 37. So out goes the marker. Um, it looks a little bit more aggressive on the left to right, so I'm going to put it left edge. Can I come back? Turn, turn, turn. Oh, pretty good judgment. Just needed to go out another inch or two to the left. So we are going to drop our first shot of the round, and that brings us back to three under, I think it is. One under actually, sorry I do uh, do apologise, I thought we got a third birdie, uh, so one under heading onto the ninth par 5, 600 yards playing 595 to the pin, stroke index of 15, so very good opportunity to get a birdie here, I think we'll be aiming out over that bunker on the right hand side, but I can see that the, the fairway is kind of sloping, I mean I have played this course a good few times, but obviously, without being able to look down the fair... Oh no, that needs to stay up. Can it get out? No, it can't. So that was a bad decision off the tee. But yeah, I was going to say, without being able to look down the fairway, it can be hard to judge sometimes as to... Uh, exactly what the slope is like. Um, now, fairly lengthy so yeah I think we'll just we'll just smash the uh, the four iron up here as far as we can just get it back into the fairway should leave me with a wedge or a short iron in One fifty, one forty to one fifty again. I keep getting these, <laughs> and up four feet again. Okay, have we got a marker this time? We do not. So I'm gonna go one forty-five. I'll go slap bang in the middle. If it goes a bit long, it goes a bit long. Um, but I think with the wind, what I'll do is I'll play the gap wedge just in case. I'll give it a tiny touch of D left, but I just have a feeling it's gonna play closer to the one fifty. That looked like a pretty good swing. And it's coming down, or sorry, actually, not closer to the 150, closer to the 140. And it looked like it is, it is about the 145, so. Kind of happy that I did decide to drop back down to the pitching wedge there. So we've got 8 feet up 3, we'll say, put it out to 12. Again, we'll go about half out for it. And good put there. So we bring it back to 2 under as we finish up the front 9. Let's see what the back nine has in store for us. Going to kick it off with a par three. Stroke index of four. 210 yards. Playing 210 to the pin. And it looks like I thought it was a front pin there for a second. But, well, it's tucked on the right. Right sort of center. Um, but um, I'm going to say it's maybe about 200 to the front. So we'll definitely play four. Right now it is actually down... 24 feet. I need to pay attention to that. So it's going to be playing more 208 or 20. I'm taking off 8202. 
Um, so, I think five iron. Decent swing. Kind of holding pretty straight, but if it can kick a little bit to the right, I'll be happy. It's gotten up pin high. Looks about 15, 16 feet, in and around about that range. 14 to 16. Marker's on 14. Marker's now at 15 on the hole, but it looks of it's playing level, so I'm going to keep it on 15. And this looks like it will break pretty good. Somewhere around about one and a quarter to one and a half. So if I can get it close, I'll be happy. It's tracking pretty well. Just needed a little bit more weight on it though. But solid effort. And we do remain two under par for now. As we head over to the 11th. Which is going to be a par 5. Stroke index 16, 554 yards. Playing 548 to the pin. What bunkers can I see? Right, there's those two bunkers right in front of me. Um... I can just barely, over that right hand bunker, and just barely make out that far little lonely bunker there. That looks like it might be sort of around about the stopping area, so we'll just go perfect, perfect, I think. Or aim for perfect, perfect anyway, and play safe. Looks to be pretty decent shot, so nice and central in the fairway. <coughs> 240 to 260, so definitely reachable. Um, question is, do I want to go for it in two? Let me see. I think we'll just play... I think we'll just lay it up, actually. We'll just play the four iron lay up. No point leaving the self... Oh, now that I hit a fast air, because that came a bit left. This could run into the rough, and I think it will just into the light rough but i was going to say there's no point in leaving the cell leaving ourselves with a monstrous pull coming up either short or going long 35 to 40 feet um do we have a little marker around us no we don't i have to stop trying to do that actually <laughs> and just uh just go with what i see here and now on the screen but 35 to 40 feet um definitely going to do a flop i think we'll go with a gap wedge and just hit it straight up, I think. Looks good. Can it run up a little bit? That's not too bad. It looks like it should be just inside 10 feet, maybe about 8 or 9. Bang on 9, apparently. Looks like it's not going to break too aggressive, but a few holes ago we did get proved wrong with that. It's turning nicely and drops in comfortably to take us to what are we actually now i'm getting lost we are now at three under par as we head on to the 12th par four 457 yards playing 446 and it is a stroke index of six winds have pretty much died down to what looks to be little to nothing so yeah definitely what i mentioned at the start of the round gonna have to uh Bear with me. We're going to have to start putting the winds on medium and just mixing and matching, chopping them around here and there. Uh, yeah, I think I want to aim here. Maybe actually a little bit more right. That looks good. But yeah, because it's just uh, it's just getting a bit too repetitive now, I think, with the winds being fair, fairly calm throughout each one so far. So just to kind of mix it up, give us a little bit more of a wind challenge. <coughs> So 150 to 160, up four feet again. Um, so straight away, I want to be a minimum nine iron, I think. We've got 154 there. So we'll say 154 because we're pretty much bang on level with it. A little bit of D-loft on the nine iron. I'd say hopefully that should be enough. With the greens being normal, it hopefully won't run out too far. That looked to be a good clean swing. It's tracking to the hole. Oh, can I get up on the green? No. What's going on with the D-loft this evening? That's twice now the 9-iron has come up. At least twice it's come up fairly short. With the D-loft. 
decent chip up and we should be able to secure power here just give it enough to get there and keep ourselves at three under par for now but yeah i have to uh keep an eye on that now the uh, the nine iron with some d loft is coming up fairly short this evening um but here we are anyway 13 tall par three 181 yards playing 196 to the pin stroke index of eight and it's down two feet so we've got plenty of room to work with wind has picked back up a little bit again so i think we'll just play five iron and just hope that there is a little enough wind there to hold it up a bit let's put it tiny bit of loft on there just for a bit of extra security can it come back a bit more left it's trying can it get down that's not bad at all it can sit there anywhere at once that looks to be about 10 to 12 foot range again nine feet so we're inside 10 i'm happy with that going by this break i think i want to put it out about the half mark tracking well and it's a good put so we take it a four under par as we head on to the 14th <coughs> difficult hole coming up now stroke uh, stroke index of two is par four playing 471 to the pin i think we're going straight over the water um now this is where this is where i want to way up that risk reward we got 296 and now tilting my head that 296 looks to be pretty much level with the end of the water but the question is is a fast downswing gonna carry the water i'm gonna take a big gamble and i'm gonna aim it over looks like that will be the end of the water there i'm gonna put a little bit of fade on it i'll say a little bit a good bit because obviously a fast downswing is gonna pull it left and I'm going to loft it. This is a very risky shot. I hope I got a fast there. Water is... Oh, wait, don't talk yet. Nope, we're wet. Took the risk. And it did not pay off. But it was worth a shot anyway. So uh, we're definitely going to be picking up at least a bogey here. Um, so I think we'll just aim where the game is putting me default should have done it the first time instead of being greedy and trying to carry the water if the wind was a bit of a tailwind it was a tailwind and it was a little bit stronger i'd definitely take it on all day but that was a bit of a silly mistake bit of i say a bit of a silly mistake it was a big mistake big big gamble to take we've got now leaving us now we have a long approach in for par so 180 to 200 i see 198 just behind us so we'll go 190 so that's gonna be six iron for the roll as well what kind of room have we got to work with? we've got plenty of room to work with look like a clean swing now this could actually be pretty good we can get a good decent roll looks like it's an upslope there yeah it's coming back down so we've got a tricky putt now for par or for bogey should i say um so this is now potential oh, very tricky putt this is potential double bogey i think i want to give this a minimum one and a half now i need to look at the elevation excuse me I do apologize um a bit of wind catching me there but 22 to the pin gonna call it 28 because it's saying up four inches there so i'm gonna add six onto that i think i want to play uh, two lines out there's a three count missed on the inside so we are taking a double bogey but it had good weight on it and that is going to bring us back to two under par now i think so <clears throat> Celtic Manor giving us a good challenge so far we've got four holes left to play now this is where I am going to get cheeky uh, 15th hole we can get there in one it's playing 276 to the pin this is a very very cheeky shot 276 but it's up 30 feet so it's going to be playing 286 actually so um, yeah driver 
but we might as well go for it. Nothing to lose. That felt like it was going to be a slow back swing. Is it coming? No, I must have been alright. It just uh, felt like I held it a bit too long there at the top. It's going to be a lengthy putt, but it's on in one for an eagle too. Might as well speed this up. That's got to be at least 30, 40 feet. <clears throat> 30 to 35. Break doesn't look too aggressive. Due to the distance, I'd say at least three quarters out. <clears throat> I do apologise. I just feel a little bit of my throat coming up on me there. Um, so, do about three quarters out. Just get it close anyway. Gave it a three count. It's tracking pretty well it was. It looked like it might have been just more on the green line. <clears throat> but solid effort. We should be pretty much guaranteed a birdie here. And we are, so we'll get back to three under par. And bear with me two seconds, I'm just going to hold on the uh, the scorecard here for a second, just while I do uh, clear my throat. Okay, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> Still a little bit there, but I could just feel it building and building there, so I had to clear it. Um, so anyway, 16th hole, par 4, 507 yards, is playing 510 to the pin, and it's a stroke index of 10. Can I see those bunkers? I can just about make out some of that bunker on the left hand side. Um, so I think we'll aim over here to the right, we'll go for the fast. Looks pretty good. And nice and safe, so we'll speed that up. I can already see that ball is going to be well below the feet here. And it is quite a bit. Uh, but we've got 180 to 200 in, down 17. So we'll drop it back to 6 iron for now. Have we got a marker? 179 in front of us. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say closer to 190, maybe 195. 190 to 200, actually, I'd say. We'll go in the middle and say 190. Down 17. <clears throat> so that'll be actually 183. No, sorry, 184. Um, I think I want to do 7 iron. I think I want to do 7 iron. With some D loft. Give it a bit more forward of momentum. Oh, I think I got a fat. Yeah, I got a fast there. That's holding straight. Should have gone well to the right off the club. Oh, but are we getting fortunate? Is it going to hold? It's back onto the green. It's actually going to be, I say fortunate. That's I probably would have been better off off the green. We've got 40 to 50 feet just on the edge of the green. So I know that the green grid is roughly 40 feet. So we'll say 42 where the marker is. Um, it's saying down 4 inches. So we'll take that back to 39 looks like it's left to right all the way we'll go one and a half out and obviously just aim to get this one close or do i want to do two we'll go two actually we'll be, play it safe and go two give it the four count looks like it's track that's too much pace that has too much pace counted that one a bit too slow but otherwise i don't know Going by the camera angle, whether or not it tracked fairly well, but I think this looks to be a right edge. Come on, get there, get there. We scrambled the par, I'm happy enough with that. Got two holes to play, we're three under par. Things are so far looking good to uh, remain under par, but again, don't want to count the chickens before they hatch, I always say it. But I think we'll just play safe, play for par. For the remainder of the round, 191 to the front of the green. This is hole number 17 anyway. As I should have said there, par 3, stroke index of 12. So, 2 wood, or I'm saying 2 wood now. Uh, 5 wood is going to be too long all day. It's 218, it's down 11, so we'll say 214. So it's going to be... I think I want to play a fast on this, because I'm not sure what strength that wind is going to be. It could be only 2 or 3 mile per hour, it could be 5 or 6 sometimes the two or threes can fill the meter at roughly around about that coming back around so i got the fast and we've got a good upslope here if we can 
oh it's gonna it's gonna hit right on that and come all the way back down but it should come off the green <coughs> and it does so we can get a little flop shot up there and just hopefully take the par I was nearly about to go for a chip shot there that would have been disastrous if I can sit solid flop apologies if that came across it's have an itch in my head I knocked off the headset there so three under through 17 pr looking pretty good to remain under par unless something monumentally goes wrong here but it is a par five and it is stroke index of 18 so it's playing 573 yards pretty much a straightaway drive <coughs> i think i just make out those left hand bunkers there the fairway bunkers so I'm pretty much over the right hand side it does give it the fast oh that's too far right I think is it no it's not just the oh <laughs> too far left came right back around but we are fortunate enough to stay in the fairway there now this is the one though this is where it can go wrong do we want to go for the green in two do we want to lay it up it's 260 to 280 uh, have we got a marker we don't Oh there, uh, 260 to 280. If we were to go in the middle and say 270, take off the 9 for the elevation, that's going to be 261. Go on, we'll take the gamble. I know there's water in play, but if we can carry it with a fast downswing. There's the fast anyway, it is coming back left. It's carried the water more than comfortably. It should stay dry definitely stay dry now we're in the rough so now I hope we're not going to get a repeat performance of failed flop shots uh, but it is 20 to 25 up 10 we'll go we'll go pitch and wedge actually or gap wedge sorry and going by that lie percentage a full swing and that's a very good flop if we can sit there i'm happy with that it's inside 10 about six or seven it looks like eight feet dead and i think we'll be going about halfway out with this want to be careful that we don't put too much on it oh turn 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 oh i was just a tiny tiny little bit too much so at best a par on this par five to finish off Turn for me, turn, 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 just enough roll on it to creep in and keep us at three under par for the round. So Celtic Manor, I think out of all the courses so far, has given us the best challenge uh, with a finishing with a three under with a bogey on the eighth and then a double bogey on the 14th due to my very big risk of trying to carry the water there. But I hope you have enjoyed this video anyway. This has been Celtic Manor designed and recreated by Carlos1991. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And click that bell to keep yourself notified of all future uploads from myself. And as always, until the next one, take care, have yourself a good one, and bye for now.